Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and it's dinner time. I'm gonna tell ya, I, um, it's 3.30 and my husband gets home at 4.30 and we usually have dinner by 4.30. So this is gonna be a quick dinner. Um, I did make this over the weekend and then I posted it on my Instagram and I had a lot of people ask about it. I'm making a quick version of my chicken and biscuits. It's going to be quicker, but it's definitely homemade. I'm going to be using a jar of my home canned chicken, and we're just going to whip up a quick gravy and get everything in a pan. So let's get started. So here's the deal. Super quick, super easy. I'm going to open my jar of chicken. Hear that seal? I'm going to drain my jar of chicken. If you want to make a roux for this and that's how you make your gravy, then definitely do that. You know, make it... Um, make your gravy however you want to. I'm gonna make, I'm making just a quick version of gravy. I'm gonna make enough gravy to fill my pan halfway up and I'm using this small pan with deeper sides. But you can use a 9 by 13 baker for this. Okay, so this is about 32 ounces of water with my chicken, uh, with the chicken broth. You can use your home canned chicken broth. I don't have any. Do I have any? I, don't, I guess I should have looked. I'm just going to put in some um, chicken bouillon. But I should have looked. I did, I, you can use your chicken broth or you can use chicken bouillon. Makes no difference. I'm going to put that in. I am putting in, I'm going to put in a little bit of poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning is strong, so I don't do a lot of it. I'm going to put some black pepper in. And I'm flavoring the gravy, so I'm going to put just like a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder in there. Because garlic gives everything good flavor. And then I'm going to put in a teaspoon of onion powder. And probably a good two teaspoons of dried parsley. I'm using easy gel to thicken. I'm going to put in about a quarter cup right now. And I'll see if that'll thicken it enough. If not, What I like about the Easy Gel is you can put it in anything hot or cold. It makes no difference. Okay, while well, I'm bringing that chicken gravy to a boil, um, we're gonna we're gonna start our biscuits. So um, you need one cup of buttermilk. I don't have buttermilk, so what I do have is whole milk and lemon juice. So I just want to put a tablespoon of lemon juice into my milk. and let that set for a few minutes. I have two cups of all-purpose flour here. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of salt. And that's my dry ingredients. So let me ask you this. Making homemade biscuits is super easy and way more cost effective. I can't figure out why anybody would buy a refrigerator biscuit. But if you do, it's fine. <laughs> this is just easy. I just want to show you how easy this is. I don't know if I've ever even done a video, a video on my biscuits just because I feel like it's such an, like an automatic thing for me just to make them. All right, butter. You can use butter or you can use shortening. I use them both. And a lot of times I do half and half. But you need cold butter or cold shortening. And we are using five tablespoons of cold butter. And 
and I am just going to cut this in. Oh my gosh, my dogs have been barking all day long. They're working on the roads out there, all through the neighborhood. So they are barking uncontrollably all the time, all day. And I think it's going to be like a while till they're done. You can do this with two knives or a fork. You don't have to have a pastry blender. You can do this in your food processor. But I'll tell you what, food processor is a lot of work for to get out and wash for some biscuits. <laughs> Okay, mixed in. Pour your buttermilk. You don't want to over mix your biscuit dough. So mix it just until it comes together. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there just for a sec because maybe it's boiling over here. Not thick enough. Super thin, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna put in another half a cup. I'm sorry, another quarter cup. And the lumps will actually smooth right out. Easy Gel just is such a great product. Okay, I'm gonna let that go for a sec. We'll be back over here to our biscuit dough. On your clean countertop, just sprinkle a smidgen of flour. I seriously just Dump that out like this, it's just. Now, here's the thing. I see a lot of people when they're making biscuits use the cutters, right? You're using the cutters. And then, you know, when you're using cutters, you actually shouldn't be um, putting them down and twisting them, but everybody does it even though they say they're not. <laughs> I see it all the time. I don't even use a rolling pin on biscuits. By the way, that's a piece of parsley. Um, what I do is just pat them. Okay, patted. This dough is probably half inch thick. This Here's the thing. I make smaller biscuits and I go straight down. And I do them in squares. Now this is the reason I do them in squares. I don't like waste. Um, when you roll them out, when you roll them out with a pen and then you get out your biscuit cutter and you start cutting, you're twisting, you're doing this. Even though you think you're not, you're kind of twisting slightly which makes the biscuit a little bit more tough. Then, you know, you think you're light rolling your scraps out lightly, well, it still makes a tough biscuit. So I just do it in squares, no waste. It's kind of farmhouse style and it's how my grandma did it, so there you go, no waste biscuits. I've turned the heat off on my gravy and I'm putting in about a quarter cup of heavy cream and you can decide how thick or thin you like your gravy. But I like mine creamy for this dish. So I have putting heavy cream in. And then since this literally is just broth, I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of butter, that last little tablespoon I had on there. I'm going to put in a little bit more pepper. At this point, I'm going to taste it for seasoning. So it may not have enough chicken in it. We'll see. Chicken broth, I mean. Mm. 
Okay, I'm gonna put another teaspoon in there. I can definitely taste the onion powder. I love that flavor in there. Okay, taste it one more time, see if there's enough chicken. When you get your chicken gravy exactly how you want it, put in your canned chicken. Break this apart a bit. This doesn't seem like a whole lot of chicken for this dish, but let me tell you, this dish gets big quick. Okay. I may have a little bit of gravy left over, and that if I do, it's perfectly fine because I have some uh, extra mashed potatoes, so. And you can always leave a little extra gravy on the side too, extra for your biscuits. Okay, here go the biscuits. And beside, no waste with the square biscuits. I think they look prettier. It looks cobblestone-y. <laughs> and then I actually get leftover corner pieces so it works out. Okay. With a couple extra biscuits I got, I'm just going to put them right on the baking tray and bake them off with it. because extra biscuits has never been an issue in this house. Okay, <clears throat> I've upped my oven to 425 degrees. I am going to put this in until it is done. It's usually about 15 minutes. For the gravy, you can use jarred gravy. You can use, like I said, your own canned broth that you thicken up and then add more seasonings to. Um, whatever kind of broth you use, just keep in mind, you do need to add a little bit of seasoning like garlic powder, onion powder, parsley, a little bit of, um, poultry seasoning because there isn't going to be enough flavor for gravy if you just thicken it. So keep that in mind. Um, salt, pepper. You could also use gravy packets um, or you could go, you know, use like the bulk gravy mixes that they have. Also Thrive has a really wonderful chicken gravy mix and I do use it. I almost did it today then I thought now I'm just going to show you how I make the quick gravy version just using chicken bouillon because almost every household has chicken bouillon. <laughs> And then with the chicken biscuits, I always use heavy cream to make it a creamy gravy because when I was a kid, we would go to this restaurant called Bill Knapp's in Michigan and the chicken and biscuits was my absolute favorite item. Oh my gosh. So because of that reason, um, this is how I like to make it. And it, I kind of tried to fashion it after theirs. Just plain gravy and chicken, no vegetables, no anything else. It's just simple. Anyway, if it's this good simple, why complicate it? Right? Am I right? Chicken and biscuits are done and yum. I don't know which one I want. So the biscuits kind of steam in this gravy with this chicken. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And you're gonna want lots of gravy for your biscuit. light, fluffy, tender biscuits that just fall apart in your fork. Oh my gosh, I love these biscuits. Super delicious, oh my gosh. Pop. This is the only biscuits I've ever made my entire adult life, the only buttermilk biscuit recipe.
Um, I did try other ones, but nothing ever comes close to this biscuit. It is just absolutely delicious. Now I've got my canned chicken. Mm -mm -mm. You can serve vegetables along the side, mashed potatoes. Bill Knapps always served this with au gratin potatoes. Super delicious. Oh my gosh. Hope this gives you some inspiration to make your own comfort food at home. So that's all there is to my quick version to the to the quick version of my homemade chicken gravy and biscuits. I just can't talk. I can't seem to get it straight. <laughs> Anyway, you can definitely make some more shortcuts. If you make your um, biscuits homemade and freeze them individually while they're raw before you bake them, and then you can check them in a, a bag. You can definitely bring those out and put those in the top and it's a quicker bake. You can use a roll of biscuits. You can do drop biscuits. That's even easier. Um, anything that you wanna do um, for biscuits that's quicker or you can buy the frozen ones in the store and have them in your freezer ready to go and put those on top of your chicken gravy. Either way, super quick, super easy. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should at JennyGoff18. I pretty much post daily what I'm up to around here. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.